G'day folks. Well, I was rummaging through some old CDs in my bedroom today, having a big clean out, and I found some photographs that I actually thought I'd lost a long time ago. Uh, there's a mixture of stuff from probably about eight years ago when I lived in Frankston, which is what that photo's from, all the way up to just after I moved in here at my current location. And I figure I'll put them together as a compilation, but instead of wait, spending hours editing tags and things into each of them, I just figured I'd flick through them first and then display them. <laughs> we'll do this the lazy way. But this is my old setup everywhere. Still got that belt of dummy rounds hanging on the chair. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on those dummy rounds, probably too much. But they're cool. Everyone needs a belt of dummy ammo. Rambo style. Yeah, I can even see my old laser jet 3 there. Remote control BMW. <laughs> They actually sold those in Coles for a while, and they're pretty powerful. 12 volt um, lithium battery. Uh, that LaserJet 3 was a monster of a printer. I could barely move it even back then. But yeah, good printers, good equipment. Marantz Hi-Fi system, still got most of that working. Yeah, what more can I say? Even that case, I think, is still, still kicking around. That was the only computer I built new. I actually went to the computer shop, bought everything brand new and built it. Uh, still had the old CRT though, I hadn't bought that LCD yet. But that, that CRT monitor went on the fritz one day when I was playing Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And that was it, I was stuck in the game at the time. I just wasn't going to have a dead monitor on my hands. So as soon as it started flickering and carrying on, I just went straight down the street. Walked it, I didn't, didn't even have my license, didn't even have a car. Walked it, spent $450 on one of these, which was the bee's knees in the day. And uh, walked straight home and plugged it in. But yeah, one of the projects, Xerox photocopier. I suppose, what do you do with an old Xerox? You strip it down. And what do you do with the parts when someone asks for a stage prop of questionable nature? Well, not stage prop, but am amateur video prop. You make one. He wanted a uh, man portable uh, Gatling gun replica that spins its barrels. So I made one. Bits of the um, photo drum center. The photo drum is conveniently drilled with four holes in the end plates. So it wasn't hard to stuff a few bits of curtain rod through it. Or metal curtain tubing. Scanner, mo scanner drive motor, bit of bracket from the auto document feeder. Yeah, I remember this project well. This was fun. MDF casing, lots of car bog. Uh, and it's bits of the lathe I fixed up. BMW still with the red P plates on it. That's, this is later on. There it is. Almost finished. Looked pretty good. But you had to haul a, um, power, a backpack, like sealed lead acid batteries on your back in order to uh, power it. So it had a power cable that just plugged into the side and when you pulled the trigger in the, or the micro switch on the um, hand grip, the uh, barrels would spin up. And that was it. It was completely non-functional, harmless, but it made a nice little uh, movie prop. And back in the day it was legal. I don't know if it'd be legal now, but I think I still have it. He gave it back to me. He paid me to make it made a number of videos using it as a prop and just as a good gesture he actually gave it back to me for my collection. It is around somewhere, I haven't lost it, it's around somewhere. I'll have to dig it out one day. More lathe stuff. What someone did to the bed when they wanted it to swing a larger piece. I don't know when they did it, probably decades ago, but it made a mess. But yeah, lathe restoration. This is in the current workshop today. Um, the old electrolysis, or first electrolysis setup. Or first power supply, fixing the lathe up. Yeah, lots of goodies. So yeah, I'll post these videos just as a slideshow. You can pause them and look at, examine them as much as you want. Bits of photocopier, craft knife I made out of hacksaw, power hacksaw blade and some brass strip. Still got that today. Still got all, most of my tools and drill bits. Of course, the, <laughs> the collection's grown a lot more since then. These are just photos that I took for various websites, hobby websites, um, practicalmachinist.com, all that sort of stuff. And I just stored them on the drive somewhere, or CD, sorry, CD backup. Still got bits of photocopier sitting around here. Cleaning the lathe bed up. Yeah, a lot of this was connected to the lathe project. The electrolysis and the lathe parts are all part of the same project, um, photo compilation. There's more lathe bits that I cleaned up. There's the first electrolysis tank. <laughs> Very crude. Nice big switch mode power supply from a uh, Minolta 
DI240 or something, one of these uh, smaller, cheaper units. But yeah, tons of photocopiers. But that whole carport was just wall to wall photocopiers, and they even extended all the way out to the shed, covered in tarps at one point. I've probably processed about two shipping containers worth of scrap photocopiers over the years, all from a Minolta dealer, not too far from me actually. I should give him a call and see if he's got any more. Not that I have room for another shipping container's worth of dead copiers. And yes, to the point where you just got so much equipment being donated that you don't know what to do with it or you just want to call the scrap company and get them to haul it away. Which is sort of what I did in the end. I had so many copiers and no time to process them. I actually got uh, my scrap yard to drop a trailer off and a big tandem trailer and I just loaded half of them onto it and just got them to haul it away. But yeah, that's about it. Bit of memory lane, I wish I had more. I know I'd taken a lot more photos after my friends did the movie stuff with the um, replica Gatling gun, the Predator pack. And I started doing a lot of pho photographic stuff, but never got into videos up until uh, about three years ago when I did my YouTube channel. I started posting on YouTube, and it's been history ever since. So what more can I say? Enjoy the slideshow. I won't be posting each image for too long, but just feel free to pause it and have a look.